Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this Army Showcase video. We have an absolute treat. We've got a Farsight Enclave Army Commission that you can see in front of you. Uh, really cool force. If you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then welcome firstly. Uh, Siege Studios is a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service offering four levels of quality from our basic level, which is an above tabletop, that's our bronze level, all the way up to our platinum level, which is a competition entry quality. If you are interested in a commission, then very simply, all you need to do is head to our website which is linked in the description of this video where it says get a quote click on that link it will take you to our contact form which you need to complete selecting the relevant drop down options for your project and also in the message section including a list of models in our model list format which is shown on that contact form once you've fired that off to us we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process rolling uh, we're back in a second to have a look at this awesome force in more detail see you guys back in a second So first up, let's have a look at all the infantry from this Farsight Enclave force. And there are two different units. You've got some breaches and then fire warriors, plus an accompaniment of drones at the back as well. Amy, who's the artist who's worked on this project, had a really good time working on it. It's actually a second phase for our client. So our client completed a first phase of the army and uh, has returned to obviously have a second phase, uh, which I would also put a link to that in the description of this video. But just so you can see these awesome fire warriors uh, in a bit more detail, really cool models, obviously in that very, very traditional red far, uh, Farsight Enclave color scheme. Again, every lens and detail fully painted there, and a lovely complimentary blue as you've seen the uh, proper artwork. Uh, so that's just one of the Fire Warriors. We'll pull forward a selection of them so you can have a look. So this is just one of the squad leaders here. As you can see all those facial details painted, eyes and everything fully done there as well. All the edge highlighting done on the armor panels and everything as well in a really, really nice crisp fashion. So that's just one of the squad leaders. Pull forward a few more of the Fire Warriors just so you can see the consistency from model to model. Uh, but again, they're every single little lens all painted and all those edges sharply and neatly done as well, which is really nice giving you a very, very lovely uh, bronze above tabletop basic level with us here at Siege. Uh, and that's what these are. Uh, and then we'll have a look at some of the drones just behind. So this is just a marker drone here, as you can see. Again, all the lens is all done. Every edge fully sharply done as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, so that's just that marker drone. And then we'll have got missile drone as well, just so you can see the variation of that. But again, all the edging done there, as you can see, uh, and those missiles picked out in a lovely complimentary white. Uh, and then we'll move across the other side and have a look at some of these breaches. Uh, obviously the uh, harder hitting tower infantry, again, more lenses and things on them as well, because uh, they are more sort of special ops. Uh, but you can see obviously all their feet painted in their skin tone as well, which is really nice. But every single model really finished to a lovely, lovely above tabletop top standard, uh, which is our minimum. Uh, again, the other squad leader here, as you can see, with all of his details fully painted and his shield done uh, you know, with that white marking him out as obviously the leader of the squad. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, and then we'll look for a few more of these breaches. Just a kneeling dude here, as you can see. Uh, again, really, really cool models. I do like the little little differences between, obviously, the breaches to the Fire Warriors. And then just a few more of the other drones as well, just so you can see these in a bit of a better detail. Again, all that metal work there done with a lovely highlighting done on that as well. All the black, red, and gray, everything fully painted and fully highlighted, all the lenses done. Uh, and then uh, just put one more drone forward, I suppose, just to have a look at that. And then just another uh, marker drone here, again, just so you can see the consistency from model to model, uh, finished in a lovely style with this really cool sort of uh, planes kind of uh, basing scheme across the uh, the commission as well, uh, with these lovely green, darker green rims. Uh, so that's just the infantry from the force, guys. We're back in a second to have a look at all the battle suits, and then following those, we're going to have a look at the uh, transports. So we're back in a second to have a look at them in more detail. Stick around, see you guys back in a sec. So next up, we're gonna have a look at all the battle suits from this Farsight Enclave Force, and there are a good selection. Uh, you've got two broadsides, a Riptide, the big boy at the back, and then three Crisis team or Crisis suits at the front. All really cool models. Uh, they're all the newest versions of the uh, model type as well, which is really nice. So let's just pull forward and start by looking at some of the Crisis suits. Uh, Amy's done a stellar job on all the highlighting work on the armor panels. Really, really intricate detail work done on all the lenses as well, and that very, very ominous and vibrant uh, Farsight Enclave Force color as well. Well, every little dial and button and lens all painted as well, just to add that extra little detail to the models that you'd expect from us here at Siege. Uh, and again, this is an above a tabletop bronze level job on all these models as well, just so you can get an idea of the minimum standard quality that you do get here with us at Siege. Uh, so again, really, really cool models. Uh, this is the first of the Crisis team. Pull forward uh, what I would like to think as the leader of the team, just in a very sort of open pose kind of stance, which is really nice with two of the fusion guns here, as you can see. Every little lens there done as well. Lovely glow on those fusion weapons as well with all the barrels drilled and the glow coming from within the gun. Uh, moving around obviously got all the little dials and lights and everything again painted throughout the force. 
That's really, really cool. And then the final dude here, with again, with double uh, fusion, uh, again, in a more of a, an attacking pose, which is really nice. Uh, again, the same consistency from model to model, just so you can see the quality we offer. Uh, and that's just another one of the crisis suits. We'll look at some of the broadsides here. So you've got one of the broadside suits with the rail rifle and missile pod on his back. Again, all the little dials and lights and lenses and everything all painted here. Uh, all the sharp edging done throughout on the force just to add that real lovely finish to the models. You've got this really cool glow on the uh, on the sort of energy turbine on the back of the broadside as well, which is really cool. So that's just him. And then the, we'll pull forward the other one so you can have a look at the consistency from it on him as well. Exactly same glow there on the back of that one. And then every little detail, same as the previous one, fully painted and highlighted all the little lenses and everything. Uh, so really, really, really cool. And uh, a lovely finish on these models that Amy's done. And then without further ado, let's pull forward the, the massive Riptide as he is the big boy of the force. Again, a really cool model. Always like this since it first came out. Uh, you've got all the areas of detail done on this as well with all the lenses and everything and all the aspects of the armor, chest, uh, all done as well. Obviously massive sh shield that he's got there. Move around the back. Again, all the consistency, all the edging done, all the little lights and bits and bobs fully painted as well, which is really cool. Uh, all the metal work with some nice crisp edging on it as well, which is really nice. And again, I do really, really like the uh, the deep uh, violet kind of red, uh, reddy, purpley red that the uh, Farsight Enclave scheme is. It's really, really nice uh, with that complementary grey as well. Uh, so that's just the uh, the big Riptide of the Force. And then we'll just put them all back together so you can have a look at them again uh, in their sort of uh, formation here. Uh, that's all the suits from this awesome Force. And uh, finally, coming up next, we have the two transports, the two Devilfish. Stick around, they're coming up next. And last up, we have the two Devilfish from this Farsight Enclave Force. Really cool models. Obviously, been around a very long time as a model, but I think it's held uh, very well against the rest of the new tail ranges that's come out over the over the years. Um, Amy's done a great job in removing the drones for this as well. So they've not been glued in. They are uh, removable and attachable, so they can be used on the models and also as extra drones if need be, or when they detach from the uh, Devilfish as well. So we'll pull forward the first one just so you can have a look at this. Again, just getting this to focus. You can see all the areas of detail work done, the screens and lenses and everything fully painted on the cupola on the side all the little buttons done as well to add that realism to the model uh, again all the little lights and things all done uh, every little lens all painted as well which is really really nice lovely lovely above tabletop finish on this awesome devilfish so that's just the tank in itself uh, and then we'll pull forward a couple of the complementary drones obviously you've seen the drones in the other sections of this video but just so you can see the consistency from model to model again all the little lenses and everything done on these drones uh, and what Amy's done really, really nicely is just put the F on the bottom just so that we know obviously these go with the Devilfish, which is a really nice little touch uh, just for our client. So that's just the other drone. And then I really like this one that has got obviously the, the sort of camouflage pattern on the grey as well, just to denote this transport from the other one. So it looks a little bit different on the tabletop as well, which is really cool. Uh, again, you can see that sort of camo pattern that's just been painted on there, um, freehanded on there, just so that um, our client can sort of distinguish between the two Devilfishes. And if he wants to put like an ethereal or commander in it, it looks a bit more like a, a pimped up ride, so to speak. <laughs> um, so that's just this uh, awesome Devilfish here. Again, exactly the same consistency, all the dials, the lights and everything fully painted, all fully edged as well, which is really lovely. Um, again, on on this awesome awesome model uh, so that's just the other devilfish and then i won't pull the other drones forward just because you've seen quite a few drones in this video already but they are exactly the same in the sense of their quality uh, and they are the two devilfish from this force we're back in a second to have a look at the force in its glory all together again and you can find out how to take a commission with us be it a character army or small force with us here at siege studios see you guys back in a second So thanks for checking the video out, guys. Really appreciate it ever so much. And I do hope you've liked this Tau Farsight Enclave Force. Uh, Amy had a phenomenal time working on it on this phase and also on the previous phase as well. And uh, it's now we packed up and shipped off to our clients. Uh, if you are interested in a very similar army or a different force uh, from any game system, 40K, Age of Sigmar, anything else, or characters, whatever the case may be, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video and click on the link that says get a quote. That will take you directly to our contact form on our website. Sites, you need to complete the contact form by selecting the relevant drop down options for your project and commission. Uh, and then in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format, which is also shown on that contact form. Fire that off to us and we'll come back to you with a quote to get the process started. Uh, also in the description of the video, you can find all the links to our social media. Uh, that's Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So if you can go give us a like and follow on those respectively, it would help us out massively. And finally, while you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favor and give the video firstly a thumbs up. Drop some comments below if you collect Tau, or if you don't like Tau, then I'm 
sure you can put some comments below. And uh, finally, subscribe to the channel. And if you do hit the uh, bell icon, you will be notified whenever we put up new videos on the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it really guys, so thank you very much and we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.